Hello, my name is Mitch Palmer and I'm the Digital Marketing Coordinator here at PNY Technologies. Today we're going to cover the difference between a blower style cooler versus a fan style cooler and how these cooler designs impact GPU performance. Modern graphics cards such as NVIDIA Quadro RTX and GeForce RTX cards are based on the revolutionary NVIDIA Turing architecture. These cards are incredibly powerful and packed with advanced features such as programmable CUDA cores, RT cores for real-time ray tracing, and tensor cores for deep learning but these powerful processors also generate a good amount of heat when put under load. It is up to the cooler to make sure that the GPU and other key components are operating within the design temperature range. A properly cooled graphics card not only performs at its max, but also lasts longer, therefore maximizing its return on investment. The more air a cooler can move, the more cooling potential that particular cooler can perform. Airflow is typically measured by CFM in the US or cubic feet per minute. Blower style designs have a very specific airflow pattern where the blower fan sucks in cold air via its inlet, then the internal baffle forces the air to pass through the heatsink before exiting out the system from the exhaust opening in the IO bracket. This airflow is effective and predictable. Blower designs have a very specific airflow that they must follow and a physical dimension that they try to stay within. Therefore, as GPUs continue to advance generation to generation, Cooler designers can either raise the fan speed to increase the CFM, but also increase the noise, or deploy with higher quality materials, which can increase product cost. With fan designs, the cooler designer can increase the CFM with multiple methods. These consist of increasing the number of the fans, the size of the heatsink, or the fin configuration on the heatsink. The flexibility of fan designs make it much easier to configure, and therefore cheaper to implement. A popular alternative to the blower designs are fan coolers. This design shifts the airflow direction sideways, leveraging multiple fans to push cold air down to the heatsink and PCB, allowing the hot air to escape freely into the system chassis. The airflow pattern is less predictable and will rely on system cooling to exhaust hot air to the outside of the case. This method has the potential to overheat surrounding components, such as the motherboard or even the GPU itself, depending on the quality of the system's ventilation. The fan design graphics cards are ideal for high-end gaming systems, which contain one or two graphics cards and plenty of spacing between the GPUs for optimal airflow. However, in the following environments, lower style graphics cards are much more ideal to the fan design. In small form factor systems, where overall system ventilation is limited, lower style graphics cards will direct heat out of the system instead of adding extra heat to the system's interior. Another ideal environment for lower style graphics cards is when multiple graphics cards are installed tightly side by side. In this environment, there is simply not enough spacing for the axial fans to move air without adding immediate heat to the surrounding cards. The lack of spacing could even potentially starve the axial fans of cold airflow, which would then cause the system to overheat. Keeping your system's components cool is always critical for performance and lifespan. It's important for a system designer to always consider keeping their graphics cards cool when building a system. To learn more about NVIDIA Quadro RTX products and solutions, please visit PNY's website at pny.com slash Turing or email us at gopny at pny.com for any questions that you have. To stay up to date with everything NVIDIA Quadro related, follow us on social media. You can find all those links in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.